Today we are going to learn how we can create an amazing experience for generating leads right when someone submits a form on your webflow website the data goes to your a table using integromat or mac right it's a very simple process it's just a three part process and you can implement this strategy to your website your webflow website and you can start managing your leads and you can start creating your crm inside airtable by sending leads to your airtable so as you can see on my screen right now i have <clears throat> airtable open the tab uh, i would suggest you to i would suggest you to Sign up for Airtable if you don't have an account. If you already have, please log in and create a base. Or if you already have a tab table, already created a base, it's fine. Just follow the process, right? I hope you do with me together so that you can learn it fast, right? Or you can watch it all together and then you can start implementing for your website. So as you can see right now, I have first name, last name, email, and message right that's it those are my four fields that i have created inside a table and those are the four fields i have on my webflow form if you look at the form i have here right this is a dummy site i have where you can see first name last name email as you can see here it's an email field these are first name uh, last name sorry you can see the id also last name first name and message right and in in integromat or mac now it's mac right so if you go to mac.com and create your account if you don't have an account then you will see this screen once you logged in right so you need to click on these scenarios once you click on that scenario you will see this scenario created that we have created for our website and for our client website right so from here you can create your own CN scenario, right? So once you click on that, this is how it would look like. But before that, let's start from scratch. Create a form on your Webflow website. Add a form here, right? Add just a form here to your Webflow website. Where is it right? Here we are going to use web hooks, right? So you need to Publish your website first on your staging domain initially, right? Then on your live site, you can test your domain, right? Uh, here, what I'll do so, this is how web hooks work, right? When someone submits a data on your website, the web hook on Integromat will wait to capture data, it will always looking for data right if someone submits a data it will catch the data then it will transfer those data to your a table base right here so this is how it will work go to uh, this mac.com the scenario let me give it a name webflow to a table right one version one right so what i'll do I'll create a web hook first, right? In the search, if you look at here, it, uh, there's a search. Let me take uh, this one here. It's a search. It's just type web hooks. Here you see the web hooks, the first one, right? That is what we need. We going to uh, we are going to create a custom web hook here, right? triggers when web hook receives data see it says it will trigger when it captures the data it will always look for data right so click on that uh, item now you'll see a web hooks one web hook here so these are my web hooks so just forget that let's create a new web hook for a new form click on add just give it a name webflow to a table lead webhook right now just save it 
just see the magic see it is looking for the data right now we don't have any data right so what it will do it will look for this link this, this is a webhook link that you need to put inside your webflow account right let me go to my webflow here from this I'll, I'll go to my project settings of my webflow project the current project i have i go to that settings and inside that i'll go to integrations right if you click on the integrations it will just scroll down sorry for that it will just scroll down it says web hooks see web hooks right just add a web hook here right so how can you add just click on this add web hook take a type when someone submits a form on a form submission i want to add a web hook right i'll create that i'll come here i'll copy address to clipboard this is the address right which is waiting for a form to be submitted right the data that we are sending to web hook so that is the web hook url you can use it's a web hook url right from integromat just hit this see it has been added here right you can delete it anytime if you want right. so now the next thing you need to do is publish to selected domains your sites because we have added the web hook right so now let's go and just submit of data and let's see this what it does right uh, i'll add first name ashok chowda choket tech designs dot name i am looking to rebuild my webflow website right contact me as app right so let's say i submit a form here just wait I'm submitting a form just come here and see it says successfully determined or right it means our web hook is working the web hook address we added to our form is working it's working properly right so since it's working just hit okay here now what you need to do once you get the data now we have got the data here so what else we want to do we want our a table table we want to send this data to our a table page right so now create a record see when you type a table and select a table you can create a record get a record search a record right so you can do many things you want right by using a tables web books also right so you can create this automated system for your lead generation right so let's say uh, in this case we want to create a new field in, inside our a table right because it's a new lead for us so what i'll do create a record okay so i'll add this right so i think i already have a flow web book a table uh not not this because th i think that's not what okay let's let's add this webflow of leads table right so let's add connection type a table authentication save let's add the uh, sorry it's my mistake sorry 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 you don't need to right because if you don't have added your a table connected this is how you can connect you click here it will grant you uh, to connect with your a table account right so they will ask you for a, let's say if you do this this way connection type a table token key right you can go to a table settings right your account settings and from there you can get that key and you can add that key here but now i am already connected with my table so i look for for this one right leads where is webflow leads table right that's what our table here webflow leads table the base name right the table inside that we have a table called lead table 
so let's select that lead table this is my lead table okay see it automatically fetch all the fields you have inside your a table so now first name will be my first name from the data if you look at it <clears throat> popping this web hook and because this uh, that is where you hover here right this is the first name i want this is the last name i want this is my email and here my message right so right now i don't want to assign these to anyone right because we have just uh, took these fields right a simple fields first name last name and email all right if we had these uh, category let's say they want a website they have a website requirement they have marketing requirement digital marketing requirements right then we could have used these to filter out and send to a particular assign is right whose category or their position is or their status or the title is so and so thing right then we can send it to that right now it does not matter status uh, let's not focus on that let's just select these and just hit ok right so now we have this right so since uh, we have successfully created our web book and connected with web flow and we have now added our web hook data the data we have received from our web flow form to a table we have now successfully mapped them right inside integrament now let's uh, test how it works and all just click here run once right it will wait for a form to be submitted if you look at this it will continuously wait for the form to be submitted so now let's do this right but you have this first name chuk chada so we do the design starting uh, data data a table right if you look at here i have nothing here right so let's cross the fingers and click on submit see it says one one means it is successfully done right so if you look at if you click on that one it will just tell you the data if you click on data it says ashok this is my message right the the one i had typed and if you look if you look at here on a table it says bundle record the data i have added right output this is the output right so now let's go to see the date and time right now let's go to our a table ready to see the magic here it comes the data are in my a table so now i can assign this to anyone i want let's say i want to assign this to ashok right and the status is in progress right so this is how you can leverage the power of webflow and integromate right to create an automated system you don't need to do some things manually right you can automate this kind of leads with your preferred applications right it could be salesforce it could be hubspot right anything you can do these using integromate or zapier right so I'm going to cover HubSpot, Salesforce, and other applications, Google Sheets, right? So with uh, Integromat or Mac, right? And I'll show you how you can do that stuff with webhooks, webflows using webflows, webhook, hook integration, right? Very easily. So this is what uh, we had for the day right and i hope you have enjoyed this session and you have learned something that you can implement to your client's website or you can implement on your own website to 
send out these automated things to your preferred applications if you love this video like this video right please like this video share the video and leave a comment and tell me if you already have used integromat or any kind of plugins to integrate with your webflow website right i would love to hear from you bye